Welcome back guys, it's craft time. Let's go ahead and get started. In today's video, we are working on Easter DIYs. I picked up several things from Dollar Tree and the Target Dollar Spot, and we're going to kind of mesh them together to make some cute like shelf sitters, tear trays, and a door hanger. Here you can see I'm just showing you the different things I got. The carrots and small bunnies came from Dollar Tree along with the bunny sign. And then these little um, like fresh carrot stands, the wooden bunny, the um, water can, and this big glass egg all came from Dollar, um, the Target Dollar Spot. I'm not going to be using the glass egg in this video, but we will be using everything else. Now, I've done this in a video last year, but I wanted to put more in my booth, so I figured I'd just go ahead and film it again for anyone who may not have seen that video. But here you just see me showing you these carrots this year. They are not great. The quality of them um, is definitely going downhill, but we're going to be able to fix that. So, we're going to start out with some of the wooden bunnies, and I'm just going to stain them with some... Um, Waverly Antiquing Wax. Now you can either stain them, leave them as is, or paint them any color that you want your bunnies to be. I'm just going to stain them because I want them to look a little more um, raw and natural. And I'm going to just paint this on, get off any of the excess with that paper towel, and then let them dry. Here you also see me doing two of the wood square blocks. These also came from Dollar Tree and I'm going to be using those as my stands on the back of the bunnies to help make sure that they are secure and able to self stand. So I'm going to paint those up as well. Now I'm just playing clean up on these carrots. Again, they are way worse quality than they were last year. It's very sad, but I'm just going to take some of my um, scissors and cut away some of those big chunks of hot glue that are sticking out and just clean them all up. And then I'm going to be using three per um, little, um, three per item, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Sorry. Um, and then I'm going to start pulling out these tops of grass. I have parts of, um, these are bits of like a hula skirt that came from Dollar Tree. And I'm going to be making some tops for these that are a little more substantial. So I'm just going to take several pieces of it, cut them to the length that I want, keeping in mind that part of it is going to be twisted and put down in the carrot. And then I'm going to take my scissors and slice little slits all on the top to make it be able to fray out. And then I'm going to use hot glue to hot glue that, that down in there. And that's just going to make it a little more substantial, make the greenery a little taller, and just look overall a little bit better. If you don't have anything that you can do this with, you can just take your scissors and slice the top of those carrots to at least fray out a little bit a little better but then you'll still have like the shorter tops that's okay too now I'm just playing around with the setup that I want here I'm just kind of working the carrots to what what is the nicest side of the carrot I'm gonna have that facing towards the front and once I kind of get it down to where I want I'm going to be hot gluing all of the sides together I'm gonna start with two carrots making sure that the bottom is lined up together and then add that third carrot on and you see I'm putting the tips of the carrot down onto my desk each time to make sure that the bottoms line up so that it can self stand. Then I'm going to find which part of the carrots is the front. I'm going to add my bunny on there. I'm going to use half of my bunny onto the carrot and then the other half I'm going to put that wooden block onto. I'm just using hot glue here, putting a dab on keeping it shifted all the way to the side that's not going to be touching the carrots, standing it up to make sure it is flat and level against the ground, and then holding pressure until that glue dries. Now, before I put both pieces together, I'm just going to wrap this in some twine. I'm using some white twine just because I felt like it popped a little bit better. And I am also using that, I'm kind of placing it to where, you know, the, the twine on the carrot, there's kind of like a little groove and gap in where it's twisted around and I'm just going to tie that on there and kind of hide those imperfections as well so it adds a little detail it's super cute but can also hide some of those spots that may not look great now that I know where I want it to go I'm adding hot glue on the side of the bunny that's going to be touching the carrots again standing both of them up to make sure they're flat against the table so that they can self-stand on their own 
I had pulled the tail off in order to paint it. I just set the tail aside and now we are adding it back on. And you have a super cute little tiered tray um, item here. And these sold fantastic in my booth last year. The next project that we're going to start working on with those same bunnies and carrots are um, going to be with those little fresh carrot stands. So this time I'm going to paint my bunnies white. I want to make those pop off of those stands, which are more um, of a natural wood color. So I'm going to paint both sides of them and let them dry completely. From there, I have already kind of updated my carrots with the new greenery on top, getting away any of that extra hot glue and making them look um, the best that they can. And then I'm going to hot glue that to the side of this stand. From there, for this stand, I'm going to be using two bunnies. I want one to be purchasing fresh carrots and the other one to be the seller. So I'm just going to place it to where I can see, um, you know, the bunny's face you know, an outline of part of the ears and shoulders just to show like the definition of the rabbit so you can tell he is a rabbit. And I'm going to hot glue him onto the stand. And then I'm going to go ahead and put his bunny tail back on there as well. That way, you know, if you put it on a tiered tray, then you will be seeing both sides of it. That way it looks complete. If not, he'll sit on the shelf and he'll still have a cute bunny tail. Then I'm going to put the second bunny on. I'm just going to line it up flat with the bottom of the stand and glue him on. And I'm just going to kind of shift him out to where he's off to the side a little. You can still see the letters on the front of the stand and the other bunny on the other side. And then put his tail back on. Now you can also add some, like if you had some like fake moss to the bottom of these, I think that would look really cute too. Um, or leave as is. I didn't have any, so I didn't try it out. But that's also, if you wanted another little bit of detail, a great way to do it. For the second stand, same concept. We've fixed the greenery on the carrots, added it, made it a little substantial. And then we're going to glue it. But this time, I'm going to glue one to both sides of the stand. I'm going to make this um, more of just like the little bunny selling the carrots. So I'm going to do the same thing as before. I'm going to put a carrot on each side, place him to where I like him, to where you can see definition of his, his face and ears, and then glue him to the back while adding his tail back on. From there, I thought this was really cute, and you can stop here, but I also had picked up these little lavender sticks from Dollar Tree, and they're really cute. I really like the um, different tones, and then they have ones with, that are white and purple, and more of a lavender and light purple, dark purple. And I just added those to the sides and I love how these turned out. Next, we're gonna be working with that little water pail that I picked up and I am going to be, again, updating these carrots. So I'm going to be cutting down um, the tops, you know, fraying them, gluing them in and then I'm going to start gluing these. I'm using two of them to glue into this pail. I'm just going to um, be basically decorating this pail with the carrots and the flowers. So I'm just going to put the first carrot in, get it in position, add some glue to the first carrot and then to the opposite side of the second carrot and carefully place it in. That way the hot glue doesn't go everywhere. And then I'm just going to kind of place the um, little lavender picks where I think they look best. Um, and I am again just going to be hot gluing those in. Be careful with your fingertips here as the flower is not solid and I did burn my fingers. So I just wanted to give you a heads up. Um, I ended up using my little silicone thimble that you can get from the Dollar Tree as well. And you're just gonna play around with this and you can use whatever florals you have to make them stick and kind of look how you want. I wanted it to be more um, visual pleasing from one angle so I placed it as if one side was the front but it still looks cute from the back as well if it were placed somewhere where you could see the whole thing. Once I was happy with the flowers I added some little green leaves in there as well just for a little another step of texture and to kind of fill in places and then I pulled the green ribbon that was on the handle off and I'm going to tie it around the water jug and just secure it with some um, hot glue and I think it turned out super super cute so let me know in the comments below which of these is your favorite and are you going to give it a try
Now we're going to work on that larger wooden bunny. Now I didn't get this from the dollar spot, but I did get it in uh, at Target on one of their end caps for the Easter stuff. And I thought it was super cute. I liked the shape. I thought it was a little more unique than, um, you know, just one of their flat bunnies or eggs that you usually see for in the Easter sections at stores. So I started in with some Waverly Antiquing Wax and I was going to keep it, you know, that brownish tone at first. But with the different levels of the wood where it was made, it's just going in very uneven. And I don't mind the rings and stuff coming through. I thought they looked kind of cool, but it just looked super patchy and not on purpose, I guess. And I was not in love with the look. So I let that dry thoroughly and I'm going to come back in with some white chalk paint and I'm going to paint the entire thing. This project, I ended up keeping it white, but I think I might go in and make it more of a tan bunny before I put it in my booth because though the white was cute, it just still felt like something was missing and I wasn't sure what I wanted to do with it. So I did keep it white, but I might paint it maybe a light gray or like a light brown. Um, so after it's dry, you do need to seal it because it's chalk paint, but then we're just going to add on um, a little white palm. Um, these make for really cute bunny tails. So I'm just going to attach it. I set it flat on the desk so I knew kind of the height to place it. Just hot glued it on. And then I have some buttons and I'm going to pick one of those and I'm going to make a cute little nose. So I happen to have a small pink one that I thought would look really cute here. So I'm just going to take some hot glue and also attach that. Now I'm using hot glue on all of these projects because these are meant for indoors. So hot glue is going to hold just fine and just nicely for all of them. From there, I'm going to take some ribbon that matches that same color um, or, or not if you don't have it. I just happen to have one that matched the same color. And I'm going to wrap it around and just tie a little bow because I just wanted it to have a little something extra. And I think this turned out super cute. It was really easy. So you guys can let me know what you think about it in the comments below. You could also add eyes if you wanted to. But I'm really happy with how it turned out. Like I said, I just might change the color up a little. Now we're going to work in on this dollar sign or dollar tree sign. This is found in their, what is it, Dollar Tree Plus section. This one was $3, but worth it for you to be able to turn it into whatever you want. It's a good thickness and height. So I'm just going to be using my window scraper here and I'm going to pop this off. You don't have to be as gentle as I was. You can break it off into pieces, but I'm just going to hold on to that in case I wanted to use it for a different project. It doesn't always come off in one piece, but I've done this before. So I kind of have figured out the finesse that it takes to get it. So if you wanted to use that for another project, just be very gentle. As long as you have a really flat tool to get underneath um, you should be able to pop it off. From there, I just took that scraper, scraped off any excess um, glue that was left from the bow or the tail um, or that hop sign to flatten it out. And if you needed to, you can use some wood filler to make sure it's nice and smooth. I didn't worry about it. I just painted it white with some chalk paint to get a nice base paint. And then I'm going to be painting it with this Waverly chalk paint. That's the color Dusk. It's kind of like this really light blue or teal color. And... It's really, really pretty. So I'm going to use that to paint it up and did that while the underneath was still a little bit wet. And then while that's also still wet, I'm going back in with some white and some um, darker blue, like a navy color. And I'm going to do some highlights and some low lights on this. So I'm using the white to highlight the back as if the back was coming or as if the sun was coming down and kind of from the back of him. And I'm just going to highlight him, put that in there, and then if it gets a little too bright, use that same dusk color and kind of wash it out a little bit. And same with that blue. It's like a navy blue color. I'm going to do the opposite sides of where I did the highlight. And I'm just going to add a little bit on and then use the dusk color to kind of blend it back in. If it gets too dark or too light, all you have to do is go back over top of it with your base coat color and it works out really well. You can see my lines on the body are vertical and then the face are more rounded. I'm trying to mimic following the pattern of the fur that would be on that body type. Then I painted the little pink nose um, and it's time to seal this. So I did paint the back black as well and I sealed the entire thing in polycrylic. Now I'm going to be adding on some letters. I happen to have this Hello Spring stencil. You can use a Cricut. You can print 
something out on the computer and trace it on with carbon paper or you can leave it blank you don't have to have anything at all it just felt a little plain so I'm just gonna be laying this stencil down um, using it however I see fit for this and I think stacking the words works best using some tape to block off the parts that I don't want to touch and taping the stencil in place so it doesn't move using a stencil brush and I'm doing um, the dab motion I'm tapping it in the paint tapping it off once to get any of the excess paint and working in a circular motion in that to get the stencil down to make sure there's no bleeding or movement or unnecessary um, paint bleeding underneath. I'm hitting it with the dryer and then peeling it off. Now with this stencil, the letters do not connect completely, so I'm just using a um, stencil brush and I am connecting those those letters to where they flow nicely into a pretty cursive and then I did use the flowers that were on that stencil as well to frame it and then I sealed that down with polycrylic. I'm going to use some hot glue to add this tail back on and then I'm also going to make a new bow for it. So for the bow I'm just going to pick out the colors of ribbon that I want. I'm using a thin one and I'm going to glue that down kind of as um, like the collar of the bow. And I'm just going to make sure it's nice and secure. And I'm wrapping it around to the back. I like to make my backs look nice as well. So that if you have like a glass door that you hang this on. And you can see through it. It looks nice. I do sell my projects. So um, I'm using this light pink. And this um, burlap bow that I have. And I'm just going to layer them. So I made a big loop with them. And now I'm wiring it in place with some floral wire. And then I'm going to wrap some of that same pink um, ribbon that I did for the collar of the bow around the middle to hide the floral wire. I'm going to cut down another piece, tie it, or well two pieces, the pink and the burlap. Tie that in the middle to add tails to this bow. And then I am going to use some scissors and cut, you know, a little triangle out of each end to um, make it look a little nicer. And then we're going to hot glue this down to the bunny. So I'm just going to hot glue the back of the bow down and then because I don't have the wire on the burlap bow, I had cut the sides of the wire off to make it not as thick. And the pink bow does not have wire at all. I'm going to end up gluing the tails down in place where I want them to go since they're not going to stay and kind of be wherever they want because they don't have the wire to form them. So I'm just going to do that and then add the hanger back onto the top of the bunny and it is complete. I think it turned out super cute. Again, would love feedback from you guys. Let me know which was your favorite project. Which one would you try or do slightly different? Um, consider giving this video a thumbs up and subscribing to my channel. I'll take you in for a closer look and I'll see you next time.